Nelson Mandela, a free man taking his first steps into a new South Africa. I stand here before you not as a prophet, but as a humble servant of you, the people. Your tireless and heroic sacrifices have made it possible for me to be here today. We want our young people to tell us as government what is it that they want and how can they solve some of the issues. I believe even though the, the struggle is over, there's a lot of other work and things that young people can do and in support with government. extreme privilege for me to be here on this special day remembering 37 years ago when 20,000 youth stood up in Soweto and demanded better education and a better future. I want to achieve a lot in life and one of my dreams is to hire other young people to use their talents so I won't talk too much I think I'm gonna sing now you raise me up so I can stand on mountains. Historically, when we do uh, June 16 celebrations, we normally have uh, ministers come onto stages and they have long speeches. And, and you know, in, in this instance, they would say to youth, This is how you should behave, you shouldn't take drugs, you shouldn't do this. And it's always preaching down and talking down to young people. Today, I think it is very different. For the first time, we actually said, come we listen to what the young people say that they want. And what are the issues that they have to grapple with every day? And what are the possible solutions that they themselves come up? And so it's, in, it's essentially giving the young people a voice. Good morning, Cape Town! Okay, so are you all ready? What we're about to do, we're going to start with the unconference event. Government always have conferences. They, you know, they pay thousands and thousands and in fact millions of rands on conferencing. Today we did unconferencing, which is completely different. An unconference is a way of sourcing information and the people that's on the ground themselves decide what contributions they want to make. We actually asked some young people, is this something you would actually want to do? And by those answers, that's really how we came up with um, the way that we did it and especially the different themes and the activities at the theme. We're basically going to go through six different themes this morning and we're going to try and actually go through these six themes within a space of two hours. The first one was called Opportunities and that those were the graffiti boards and um, spray paints and markers and some young people could put down opportunities that they felt that's available to them and that they know of. I'm taking away the fact that I participated in what's happening with the youth and also the fact that there are opportunities out for youth so I can use that to my benefit. I am The next station was called Perceptions and with that one they had um, different statements that they made and the young people, there was a line and there was a green, orange and red line and the young people had to either agree or disagree. So they had to be either at one extreme or the other extreme and they were really, we call that voting with your feet. All the, the comments that we make is, is something that 
uh, they can go back to government and possibly they can um, change and make it better for the youth. The next one was called Impact. And there were three key themes um, there. It was a school dropout, it was the substance abuse, and it was the gangsterism. And in that, we really wanted to know why are all these things still on the increase, even though so many people, so many organizations, including government, are pushing money and resources into those fields? I'm very curious to get back to the answers on that one, because they actually had to write it on a paper cup, and they had to put water in it, and because that was a problem then. And when they have a solution, they could pour it out, and we could measure how many of the jars were actually filling up. So problems are easy. Everybody can say, I have a problem. But coming up with solutions, that is a tough part. And having the young people come up with the solutions themselves and not us telling them or government saying, this is how it should be done. With me, I've got Ricardo. Ricardo, tell us, how are you feeling? First of all, this is such an event. It is big, it's June 16, it's happening. And I just thank social development for this big event that's happening. Wow, exhilarating excitement, it's all happening. Woo! The other theme was called space. And that was thinking, if there was a space for young people to come together, what should it look like? and there we use arts and crafts and um, different objects and they could actually make it. So we had two huge boards and on that all the young people could add their piece to this huge board and on there it would be different ways and forms that, or shapes that this space for them should, should actually reflect. So we're very excited, we're seeing new things and we can raise our voice. The other theme was your social reality. And that was an interesting one because it was around all the young people, because they were so far and wide, spread across the Western province. What is their social reality, where they are at this moment in time? And in that way, they could actually express it. They got um, sticky notes and they could write on there and express their social reality. And the last theme was called Access. And that was how would they like to access information? Whether it's government information, whether it's from organizations or any information. Do they want it? Do they want to go to a walk-in center where someone explains it to them? Do they want to just have it on their mobile phone? Do they want the traditional media like the radio or print? For me, it was a first, I must tell you. We have seen the interaction, the vibe, the kind of um, you know, movement on from, from station to station and how people took it seriously. And I think that was, that was a big joke. It was quite serious. I mean, for us, hearing some of the feedback from the young people saying, you know what, that for them, knowing that they could do something that added value, that in itself for us tells us is a big success. This blew me away. It was far, far, far beyond my expectations. I, I mean, it was far more. So I was just incredibly excited about today. I'm, just incredible to see how people participated. It just blew me away. One of the things that we really encourage the youth is that it's not just for today, not just for today that they have a voice. On this June the 16th, 2013, I think 10 years down the line we can look back and say this generation of young people that had an opportunity today, and I'm sure in 10 years time we're going to see them doing great and amazing things. <laughs> <laughs>